What is up YouTube? I'm Mike and today I'm back with another Mint update video. But before we get into the Mint video, I want to announce something. I have an announcement to make. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about coming out with a product. Now, don't worry, this product is going to be free of charge to anyone who would like to have a copy of it. You know how Greg Doucette has his cookbook that he, he, he sells from some exorbitant uh, rate? I believe that I'm going to have to come out with a Trensaurus. That's right, a Trensaurus. Some of you may have heard of a book called a Thesaurus. A Thesaurus, for those of you who don't know, is a book which gives you like synonyms for words. Like, for example, Let's say I was going to talk about someone who might be uh, horizontally challenged. <laughs> Let's say that I wanted to talk about somebody in a video who was um, large. Let's just say. See, I, there's so many words for some reason that I, I can't say now. The, the censorship is getting out of control. And so what we have to do is, you know, I could quit. I could, I could throw my hands up. I could throw a big fit. I could say I'm getting hated on. I can't make the content that I want to make. I could just quit the game, right? But that's just not in my personality, especially today with 15 milligrams of mint flowing into the system because I am feeling it in a major way today. So when I woke up, I said, what we need for this channel and maybe for this entire community, anybody in the community who wants to piggyback off this, feel free. We need a trend source so that when I say something like I walked into a, a restaurant with my wife and I was sitting next to Willie, like free Willie, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know, if I say I got into an argument with a crybaby, You'll know what I'm talking about. Because see, I can't say, we, we live in this society where words are offensive. They're, they're offensive. We do, we do not live in the society of yore, the society that I was brought up in, where sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. We live in the polar opposite society, where people are just taking shots to the dome, but they and, and, and walking right through it like nothing happened. But the slightest utterance of a word that they don't like and they are a crippling heap, they are in the courtroom, they are canceling people, they are demonetizing channels. You, truth is not winning in our society. Lies and deceit and misdirection and misinformation, that is what is unfortunately carrying the day. And so we have a case of if you can't beat them, join them. So I'm going to start producing for the purposes of my channel a trend source. It will probably come out in PDF or Word format. If you would like to, if you would like me to email you a copy of it for free, I'm happy to do that. I might post it in my Discord. If you email me at trinity1 at gmail, you can get a copy of the upcoming trend source. So that when you're watching my videos, you'll have something to, to compare to. So when I say some strange term that doesn't seem to make any sense, you'll be like, oh, okay, he, he, he's talking about this person who's going to get his, his video flagged if he says the actual true term. So uh, this is what's happening today on the Mint Mind. Today with Mint Mike, what we are talking about is the upcoming trend source. Now, that aside, how am I feeling on the mint? You may notice that I am decidedly more upbeat today. Man, I, uh, I have been uh, uh, thus far pinning the mint at around 11.30ish, give or take, in the morning, noon. Honestly, I, I started out pinning it earlier than that, but it, it, it's, it's usually around that time, which is about what time I get out of bed. And today, uh, or last night, my wife and I uh, were up really late because she got involved in some tweak project. She decided to look up some people in our Discord, and my God, <laughs> she went down the rabbit hole. It's crazy the information you can find out about people. This, I made a video about this, and somebody was talking about you know, uh, the dude that like had my address and was sending pizzas to my house. 
If you type in somebody's name, if you, if you have somebody's full name, the amount of information you can find out about a person just simply on Google searching is, is, is shocking. I mean, it is, it is remarkable. She went down this whole rabbit hole. So if, if your first name is on YouTube or Discord, we probably know your entire life story by now. <laughs> she was up to like seven o'clock in the morning, read just like in this, just Googling all this data. So, um, don't worry, y'all's secrets are safe with me, but if, if anybody needs to talk about something, I'm the guy, I've been through it all. So, uh, th th there's your open invitation. Um, that all being said, I was up very late last night, so I slept very late today. Uh, I'm ashamed to admit that I, I woke up at 2 o'clock this afternoon, which is like past, well past time for my mint shot. Now I know what you're going to say. This is probably this is probably fallacy of causation correlation. I don't know. I'm just reporting honestly how I felt. The second that I woke up, I was in a foul mood. Like foul. I was feeling like you would expect to feel if your hormones were really spiky, were all over the place. And I thought. I need to go pin my ace Esther right away. I have gone too long and I'm cr and, and Esther's crashing in my fucking serum concentration and I'm feeling it. So sure enough, I hop out of bed, I go pin my 15 milligrams of mint, my 14 milligrams of trend, and good God in heaven almighty, in 30 minutes, I was on fire! I don't know what the fuck uh, is going on. I think... It's possibly because also I'm happy to report my E2 is back. So when I reported to you yesterday that my E2 is gone, you have to understand these videos come out at a time delay. I think this is my second time making this video now, so I don't know if I said this earlier. But a lot of times you guys will get in the comments and you'll have like, you'll have feedback, like trying to help me fix some shit. And sometimes I'll be like dismissive of your comment because the thing is, is like that my video last night, last night, I shot that earlier in the, early in the day, it took almost 24 hours for them to approve it for me to put it online. So by the, t sometimes by the time I make a video about something, I'm reporting on a past tense scenario. So my E2, by the time I made that video yesterday, I had known that my E2 was in the toilet for three days. I think I talked about it before, except that I was like more like, I, I think it's in the toilet. But by the time I made the video yesterday, I knew it was in the toilet. But what you guys weren't privy to, I think, is that I had already lowered my Masteron dose from 500 to 400. And I had got, I had been off Arimidex for three consecutive days, which is the longest period of time I've gone without Arimidex, I think, since I started using, well, since like my first or second month into TRT. So luckily my my estrogen came surging back. So I up my I've been taking 500 of I 500 IUs of HCG 3 times a day. I'm taking test E at 300 milligrams per week. And so I and then the mint at 15 milligrams a day. I've got the deca in the mix that aromatizes. So I knew it was going to come back, but I wanted it to come back quickly because I cannot cope with the broke D game, uh, which is what I get on the crashed E2. I can't cope with it. And so last night, the, G the D game was back in full effect. Um, so I've gone ahead, just for those of, of you in the audience who might be worried and who might be in Cavalser's camp, I have redosed the ADEX today. Cavalser was concerned uh, yesterday when he found out that um, that I had uh, been off the ADEX for three days, that I might have a, an aromatase rebound effect and then my estrogen might spike from low to high very rapidly. I personally am less concerned about that, but I, de I definitely value his medical advice even though he's not technically giving me medical advice, I'm not a patient of his, let me make this clear, this man happens to be a doctor who has a wealth of medical, medical information and we are friends and we compare notes. Some of you in the comments have been a little critical. I don't really understand the critique. Um, 
You know, uh, this guy has been uh, pivotal in helping me get through uh, multiple medical uh, ex you know, events, and he's very active on our Discord. So please don't pass judgment before you get a chance to interact with him because he's a wealth of knowledge. I would also like to clear his name in saying he is not coaching me. Uh, no other human being has recommended this, the particular set of compounds that I'm running. I suspect nobody would recommend somebody run the compounds and the doses that I'm running. I've been saying on this channel for quite a while now that I use anabolics in a life enhancement kind of way. And so every once in a while I get somebody saying, what the hell are you doing with all this master on? That makes no sense in this in this equation. I've just taken to ignoring these com these comments because when you tell me you don't understand why I'm running master on, it just tells me that you have not been watching my videos. And so what I, I've just gotten to this place where I don't feel the need to explain myself to every swinging dick who comes along. If you have just found my channel, do yourself a favor before you ask questions in the comment section and go watch all of my videos. This is my expectation of you. This is going to be an incredible undertaking. I have the best channel on YouTube, or so I've been told by quite a few people. So instead of wasting my time replying to every comment with all of the information that I have already shared ad nauseum in a million videos, use the search function go back watch the previous videos I will explain everything to you if you pretty much have any question uh, just about just about any question if you have a question about steroids that does not include a question about EQ or how to PCT I probably have a video about it so before you even get in the discord or before you ask a question just go just just search my channel page I've got almost I think I'm at 500 videos now. I've covered everything in the world, how to how to manage estrogen, how to manage prolactin, how to manage 19 nors, 219 nors, 319 nors, orals, how to cope with your liver pro everything, 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 everything. Your best of luck finding something I haven't I haven't discussed in some form or fashion or another. And then if you go watch those videos and you still have questions, then then when you come to me having been educated, then I'll be happy to give you the extra information that you're still needing. I've got a guy who's been a friend of mine, who's a client of mine for months, somehow managed to just last night find one of my most popular videos ever uh, titled How to Increase the Effectiveness of Anavar. I just assume that people, when they come to my channel and they go, hey, I really like this guy's content, they would go back and start watching all of the old content and apparently that does not happen. So please guys, if you have questions, I've probably already answered them. So uh, moving right along, um, I am feeling absolutely on fire today. I'm very happy to report that my weight is up. I suspect that like I suspected yesterday, the reason I saw about a two, two pound give or take loss in weight was due to the fact that I crashed my estrogen. Because suspiciously, now that my estrogen is clearly back into the physiological range, I'm up to 207.5 pounds in the morning, which is up from about 205.4 pounds when I was experiencing low E, low e symptoms. I suspect this is water. Now, I have been mega dosing um, olive oil. For those of you who are unaware of that because you're not on my Discord, I have been struggling to get my calories in in a major way. I do, don't, I do not yet know what the cause of that is. I suspect that it's related to all of the gear that I'm running. Mint seems to be an appetite suppressant in me. I can't know that for sure because I also increased my trend dose, which definitely suppresses my appetite. But the reason that I think it's the mint is because I was running all I was running all of these doses minus the mint when I introduced the MK677, and uh, I was I was eating just everything in sight. I don't know if MK is something that needs to be cycled possibly, but I I have been struggling to get my calories in. Till the other day, I remembered somebody had suggested a long time ago. Uh, it seems like adding olive oil to the mix, and I was like olive oil why would I do that 
So I go in there, I was in a fit of anger because my, my, my body weight had dropped two pounds despite the fact that I felt like I was eating a lot of food. So I go into the kitchen and I look at the bottle of olive oil. Holy fuck, there's 120 calories in one tablespoon of olive oil. And if you look up olive oil, it's actually really helpful for you. It can actually lower your, uh, it can raise your HDL Lower your LDL. It's an antioxidant. I mean, the, 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 it, there's just a laundry list of positives that you can get from consuming olive oil. So what I've started doing in attempt to spur some extra weight gain, because I have no fear of getting fat, my body, with the, with the, with the triple 19 nors going, my body is just chewing up calories right now. So what I've been doing for the last couple of days is I eat until I can't eat anymore. Last night I was eating uh, pepper steak, uh, uh, pepper steak that my wife had made, pepper steak and white rice, and I can, I'm like struggling with the fork. So I force feed the last two bits of steak into my mouth, and I'm feeling like just like I cannot put another bite of rice into my stomach. I go into the kitchen in this completely full state where there's no way I could have, I, I was getting to the point of vomiting and I had three tablespoons of olive oil that went down smooth as could be. So I had already eaten some volume of calories that had tapped out, my, my stomach could not hold any more food, but those three tablespoons of olive oil gave me an extra 320 calories right on top of what I had already eaten. So I'm going to be experimenting with with that over the course of the next days and probably weeks. Basically every time I have a meal I'm going to eat until I'm completely full and then add a couple of teaspoons of olive oil to the mix to just plus the calories up even more. I don't even care if I start getting fat. Because if I start seeing some fluff, I just pull the olive oil back out of the mix. My body will recomp the fat right into muscle and we'll be on down the road. Whatever it takes to keep this needle moving and to keep these pecs and shoulders and biceps and quads growing is what I'm going to do. I think it's going to require something relatively extreme because I just am burning through calories at a very, very high rate. And so, uh, obviously, calorie-dense foods are just going to be the name of the game for me. I'm never going to get there eating chicken, rice, and broccoli. It's just, it's too filling. It's, it's, there's not enough calories. And so, I think I'm going to try using oil as a way to massively boost my total daily caloric intake. That will put me into a surplus. My body can take all of the protein that I'm already eating use it for anabolism purposes to build muscle. If I start getting a little soft, then I'll go on little mini cuts as my weight hopefully continues to climb. So again, I'm at 207.6 pounds in the morning. That's like all cleaned out and everything. That's my solid morning weight, um, which means that uh, I should be able to get over 210 pounds this evening, hopefully, and then we can, be, we can get back on the climb. I think as the, and, as the estrogen continues to normalize in my system, that will probably take some of the freakishly grainy look that I've had away because of the fact that I was carrying and I, I, I had depleted my, my body water stores, I think is what was going on. Um, so the mint is feeling really, really good today. It is making me curious if that's why I was feeling that depressed state. I reported to you when I first started the mint that it had almost an antidepressant-like quality to it. It was putting me in a very upbeat, positive mood. And then suddenly that went away. It is seeming, this is anecdotal, this is not proven, I'm just saying in my own personal experience, the, the, the lack of, the, the depression or the darkness that I have been experiencing with the mint over the last several days seems to have coincided with my cra the crashing of my estrogen. So I'm hoping now that my estrogen is back um, and I can find a way to dial in the sweet spot, uh, I, the, the mint, the, the, the feeling of the mint right now was borderline too much for me this morning. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, the mint 
really took hold of me today. I'm trying to kind of re re restrain my energy level a little bit because again, I'm kind of shell-shocked with all of the hate that my content's been getting from the algorithm and I want to be able to get this, this video straight out. I want to be able to get back to producing videos that go that go live the second that I make them rather than having to go through this entire BS process. Somebody had recommended Rumble. I'm definitely going to look into that as backup. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing a lot of options right now. And uh, like I said, I, I just have uh, a, an incredible amount of energy right now. Uh, my wife and I have the entire week to ourselves, our, my kids or with my mom. So we're going to be having lots of fun. We may have some lives coming up uh, this week while we don't have kids bouncing around the house. Um, I'm getting ready to go. Uh, I cheated on my breakfast. I should have eaten before I made this video, but I just had so much energy that I needed an outlet. Uh, my wife was laying in bed with me trying to do her Duolingo, and she said that she could just it was she could feel like I was fucking vibrating. Like just laying in bed. She said before I even woke up. Because I mentioned to her that I woke up in a foul, foul mood. Just like the second I became conscious, I was just like, Argh! and uh, she was like, dude, like I can feel it emanating from you. So clearly the, uh, <laughs> the compound has taken hold. It's possible that 15 milligrams was a little bit much with everything that I'm running. I don't know. I think that uh, it's not going to matter. I think that it'll normalize my system over the course of the next one to two days and it'll be fine. I, I don't really so much mind the energy, but I will admit that the level of energy that I'm getting from this acetate ester in this very rapid fashion is very is very similar to like a D-ball, an anadrol, which are usually compounds that I steer clear of because of the fact that like it makes me go bonkers when I'm in the house with nothing to do. So I may I may go to sweeping and mopping and and uh, doing a massive cleaning, maybe rearrange my office. I got a new setup to try to do lives with this camera instead of that stupid uh my macbook that i just don't feel is like a great uh, a great angle so i might experiment with a live later on i'm gonna get to the gym it's leg day i'm happy to report that my quads are they've, they've been desiccated uh i want to say they're up over an inch but I, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna cheat down and say they're up half an inch so far because I had a hard time believing that measurement. So I'm, I'm going to pretend like I misremembered the size of my quads and they've only grown a half inch after two workouts. Um, but I think that it's possible that my quads could respond really rapidly given the fact that they've been untrained for over a year and I've got all of these new androgens and calories and things going on. So hopefully we're going to get more of an X shape put some meat on these legs so that I can go replace my pants. Uh, my car, uh, I'm desperate for my car. I'm so I'm just, man, I'm on fire today, guys. I can't tell you, um, this, this is just substantially better than yesterday. So I, I can feel that this video is getting a bit scattered with all of my excessive energy. Uh, stay tuned for the trend source. I am definitely going to get to work on that today because I am not going to be censored. I refuse. I'm going to talk about whoever I want to talk about. I'm just going to find a way to do it that uh, will not get me in trouble. So uh, stay tuned for the trend source. If you, if you would like to contribute to the trend source, please do. Let's open source this project. Get on my Discord. Uh, and, 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 and help as a community, let's build the trend source together so that we will have our own coded language. We need a trend language. We need to be able to speak uh, about anyone and anything we want in our own private language that cannot be censored. So we're, the key here is going to be to translate words that are offensive into words that you can't possibly ding. See, that's the name of the game here. So if you take a word that's offensive and translate it into a word that's common English, you know, like for example, Willie, I mean, what? Like, hey, she was a Willie. What can I say? I mean, that's just, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> that's how you have to beat the system. You have to use their weapons against them um, instead of being crushed by them. So there you have it. 
A um, lot of energy going on today. Lots, I, I may, I may, there's no telling how many videos. If I can get this one straight up, lots of topics to discuss, maybe some lives coming up. I'm gonna get in the gym, try to burn some of this energy off. I'm about to go eat some calories, drink some olive oil, try to grow this, this physique into something approaching respectable. <laughs> Actually, I'm really loving the way I'm looking right now. My midsection is really tight. My muscles are really full. I'm really just, uh, uh, right now, I, admittedly, I'm being honest, I just want to see that scale move. I, I want to see the, 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 the dial, the digital numbers continue to go up. Um, I want to see the measurements going up. I'm just ready to fucking grow, guys. So, um, as always, thank you for all the support and all the ways that you do. If you're not already in Discord, you're missing out on a great time. Uh, follow my wife at uh, at the wife Sarah. Her she she's she's tracking her subscriber numbers every day, guys. Throw her a bone. Get let's get, get her some more subscribers. Let's help get her to a hundred. If you need testosterone replacement therapy, you can use code MikeFit with RoyalMedicalCenters.com. They will get you a discount on the first six months of your of your uh, your meds. Uh, what else can I say? Um, uh, uh, the C app is um, is, is dollar sign Trimmy One. If you feel like supporting the channel. Um, follow my wife, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I'm sure, oh, if you want, if you want coaching, coaching is $100 for a one-time consultation, that's the other thing I'm not going to continue doing, I'm getting sucked into too many long conversations in Instagram and other places, uh, if you guys don't want to pay for, for PED information, I understand that, I'm not trying to fleece anybody. The reason I made this channel was to give free PED information. So you can either A, pay me $100 because you don't want to do all the background work yourself and I will give you all of the data you need in a FaceTime or a Duo or some kind of video chat. You know, some type of what, we're not, I'm not getting trapped into forever, forever going e uh, emails anymore. I'm not doing that. My time is too valuable. So if you want the, the if you want the Cliff's Notes version, $100, uh, I'm doing coaching consultations. If you want to be, if you want to be able to constantly interact with me back and forth, tell me everything that's going on in your day. I've got a client right now who I think he, he must be messaging me on Discord every time he has a thought. Uh, I'm about to have to cut him off. It's like, bro, this is too much, okay? You paid me $50 and I've read 500 DMs. It's too much. I'm not doing that. I, I'm not doing it anymore. So uh, if you want that level of interaction, that is $200 a month prepaid. And then I will read each and every one of your DMs and I'll respond to everything and we can just become best of fucking friends. Um, if you don't want to pay anything, I get it. Use the search function on my channel, look up my old videos, everything that I have to convey to you in a coaching environment I have already said for free countless times. So there it is in life, guys. You can either take the time and get it for free, or you can pay the money and get it right now. You can get it either way. The choice is yours. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.